Hey, what's going on you guys? Matrox Gaming here and welcome to today's video. Now, I'm currently in the middle of making another video based on Saints Row, if you've heard of that game, and it's taken me a little while to go on ahead and get some of the gameplay in the background, so I'm going to have to hold off on that video for a little while longer, which is fine because in today's video, this is something that I have been wanting to do for a little while, so let's just go on ahead and get right on into it. But before I can go on, let me tell you guys about today's video sponsor. So I mentioned in my last video that I recently became an ambassador for Super X Apparel and they just recently dropped the Phase 2 bundle. Now you guys know I'm heavy into comic books and stuff and that's pretty much what this brand is all about. They make workout gear based on your favorite superheroes from DC and Marvel and although their suits are pricey, the quality is well worth it and once you put one on, you'll instantly feel like the same superhero the suit is inspired by. So go on ahead and check them out, I'll leave a link to their website in the description below and I'll also link their social media pages so you can follow them and stay up to date with their latest concepts and projects. If you do decide to pick up any of their products, be sure to use the code DELONW716 for 15% off your order and it's free shipping for any order over $100. Thanks to SuperX for sponsoring the video. Just to start off, Akira Toriyama brought Broly and Gogeta into the canon series, so I don't think bringing in the next most popular movie character would be completely out of the question. Compared to most of the other non-canon Dragon Ball characters, Cooler is the one character who has somewhat of an established backstory, and with that being said, it could be further elaborated just by the fact that Cooler is Frieza's older brother. Just knowing that alone is enough for it to be worked into a really well-made story, especially with the fact that after the Broly movie, Frieza now realizes no matter how powerful he becomes, taking on the Saiyans alone is completely out of the question and would go out of his way to look for assistance. Since manipulating Broly would be something he might not want to try again, he can remember that King Cold had told him before that he, in fact, has an older brother, whom was passed over to give the Cold Empire to Frieza. The only problem is that Frieza isn't stupid, so he should know Cooler might have it out for him since what he believed to be his birthright was passed on to his younger brother instead of to himself and might want revenge on Frieza. However, Frieza can manipulate this into turning his hatred toward the Saiyans instead of himself, which can even further be a manipulation on his end by Cooler finding out he's been manipulated by his brother and that the mission to kill the Saiyans was just to erase a problem Frieza himself started that Cooler should have nothing to do with and would therefore turn on his brother, forcing the Saiyans to perhaps team with Frieza once again to take down Cooler. Now, this can literally go anywhere from this point, and this is just a hypothetical scenario for what may happen if Cooler became a canon character. A couple of things people should know about Cooler is he's a little more tactical compared to Frieza, and in the non-canon Cooler movies and other trivia we know about him, it seems as though people were more afraid of Cooler than Frieza for being a little bit more ruthless and evil compared to Frieza, despite in a sense coming off as more professional, more calm, and more calculating than Frieza, which are traits that can be retained into establishing Cooler as a more dangerous character character and perhaps a bigger threat to Frieza. It has been said somewhere that Cooler had about 256 planets under his rule when Frieza had about 448 or something like that, and that Cooler liked to go after planets that were a little bit more difficult to conquer as a means to show off not only his might, but his army's might as well, and didn't like going after planets that he viewed were way too easy that anyone could conquer it, and therefore didn't see much value in taking the planets himself if there wasn't much battle power from the inhabitants, nor any valuable resources he can utilize until the entire universe was his. But as I said, before this could go anywhere after this and in my personal opinion i'd like to see cooler as a little less evil than frieza perhaps like a sort of type of anti-hero at best and somewhat of an anti-villain at worst by having a set of moral standards a few rules he abides by in situations about whether he thinks specific things are necessary or not for example he doesn't feel the need to manipulate others just to get what he wants nor does he see things as a means to an end unless absolutely necessary and sees value in all assets and resources at his disposal instead of throwing things around and just seeing what sticks. This can also be a setup as to when Beerus mentioned there being a warrior whom he called the strongest mortal he's ever faced in the universe, even if Beerus was perhaps lying about that initially. 
Cooler can easily be that warrior who battled Beerus before Goku was ever born, and can use skills that even Frieza wasn't aware of as a way to show what kind of power he truly has within him, therefore making Goku and Vegeta take him seriously. Hell, even Metal Cooler can be a step beyond the golden form, or even the black form of Frieza, the same way Super Saiyan Blue is to Super Saiyan God, and force Goku into Ultra Instinct to take him down as Cooler had been in his fair share of battles over the years since his banishment by King Cole just to survive. The only issue with this is that it takes away just a little bit from his character, but despite that, Broly's character has been completely reworked into more of a good guy compared to the psychopath he's known to be in the original trilogy, so I don't see why tweaking Cooler's character can't be done since if it can be done with Broly, it can be done with just about anyone else. And personally, I'd like to see your story ideas about how Cooler can be a canon character in the comments below. Why not take it a step further? I recently saw a video from a pretty well-known Dragon Ball YouTuber named Blackscape, and he himself had some pretty decent ideas. As of the end of the Granola arc in the Dragon Ball Super manga, we see Frieza show off his new Black Frieza form and one-shot Goku and Vegeta in Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego. And it was said Frieza trained for 10 years in another dimension in order to attain Black Frieza. Now, the thing is, in order to attain his golden form, Frieza had a training partner from within his army. So how would Frieza attain his blackened form? Likely from another training partner from within that dimension. But the question is, who would that training partner be? Blackscape stated in his video that that partner could be Cooler, and that Cooler was willing to train Frieza, so if his theory is in fact true, that would imply Cooler may have access to a blackened form as well. Or who knows? Cooler may be doing it simply because he has the metal form or something, and he knows he'll always outclass Frieza because of it. Like what he said in the first movie, Cooler probably would plan on killing Frieza himself. Things repeat, maybe Cooler had plans for Frieza, or maybe he wanted to take on Beerus, because if there's one thing, Cooler cares more about proving his might than Frieza, who mainly wants control of the universe. And if you played Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Cooler is aware of who Beerus is, so this could be a reason why Cooler would decide to be back on the grid. Now obviously, these are all just theories, and there's hardly any evidence to support any of this, but it would be cool to see any of these theories be the case. But hey, as long as Cooler becomes canon is really all I care about hoping for the best, and definitely wanting to see what happens next. But anyway, I think that's where I'm going to stop the video. I think I've pretty much rambled on enough about Cooler and the possibilities of him being canon. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to drop me a like, leave a comment below on what you thought and what you would like to see me do on this channel next, and also subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be posting more and more videos in the coming days. That's all for today, guys. Matrox Gaming out. Peace.